Alas, in beta 1.8, the far lands were removed. Well, not completely, but we'll get to that in a, in later. At the time, it was stated to be, the re to be an accidental result of an overhaul, when in reality it was actually a, an intentional bug fix. The way the far lands were removed, or rather fixed, was by taking the noise coordinate and converting it to a 64-bit integer, then subtracting that from the double values, and then, and then taking the integers modulo 16,777,216, and then adding them back to the double values. So, so the reason why this works and is because, of course, and the noise repeats every 256 steps, so the lowest octave, 256 steps of the lowest octave will be equivalent to 8,388,608 steps of the highest octave, so it will have no effect other than preventing the overflow. But we, However, by removing these instructions, the far lands can easily be modded back into later versions of the game. Note that in versions released 1.7 and above, the far lands will now take advantage of the 256 height limit. Also note that in, that in the lower half of the map, the corner far lands on the same seed will actually look identical to those of beta 1.7.3, which I will, as I will show in the following two clips. When the far lands are modded back into later versions, we can also see the far lands in the end dimension, which was added after the far lands were, were fixed. These are shaped exactly like the sky dimension far lands from earlier, as the sampling as the sampling intervals in the end are the same as in the sky dimension, because the sky dimension basically became the end. And here is the end farther lands, which look pretty much what you, like what you'd expect. The normal farther lands just squashed and stretched a little bit and like the rest of the end far lands. There is also a theoretical set of far lands related to a noise generator called depth noise at 42,949,673 blocks out. When depth noise overflows, the terrain jumps up by a few blocks. And rifts can sometimes be seen in the depth noise far in the depth noise far lands on the x-axis. Although I haven't been able to find any here. The, the depth noise farlands also have no obvious edge and corner variations. And in fact, the noise is tightly clamped to a thin set to a to a rather narrow range of possible values. The terrain after it overflows is more will become slightly will become slightly more boring than ter the terrain before it. Although, if we try teleporting to this number within the far lands, there is no difference, even in the negative direction. In the versions that had customized worlds, it was also possible to generate the far lands even with the modulo patch by setting coordinate scale to very large values. This was in fact caused by the modulo patch breaking as it is only applied every chunk. The Effects will become the effects will become visible at a coordinate scale setting of two to the twenty ninth minus two to the twenty two, as that is the as the smallest coordinate scale that could get the noise coordinate from two to the twenty fourth to two to the thirty one within a chunk. Listen. Notice that the same that the same repeat that the same pattern will repeat in every chunk throughout the world when this is done. But before we but before I show where the far lands ended up, let's explore the far lands in the third dimension. Up until this point, we have only discussed the traditional X and Z far lands. But in early 2017, it was discovered that if Minecraft had no height limit, 
if we could fly o over 25.1 million blocks into the sky, the farlands would appear in the sky. These sky farlands look like the edge farlands, but lopsided, and without the stretching because noise is sampled every four blocks on, on both the X and D axes, as opposed to every four blocks in the X axis and every eight on the Y, or every four in the D and every eight in the Y. When these sky farlands meet the familiar edge farlands, we find a sideways version of the stack with, with giant walls with, the, with giant walls analogous to the layers in the corner farlands, which are closer together for the same reason that the sky farlands look a little bit different than the edge farlands. But when the sky farlands meet the usual corner farlands, we are greeted with the vertex farlands. On most worlds, these spawn either all empty or all solid, which is not very interesting. However, I have chosen a seed where the vertex farlands will generate with one noise generator solid and the other air, which gets you the most abstract looking terrain that we can find in Minecraft. We can note how now in the vertex farlands we can really see the selector noise map because now low and high noise have, have overflowed on all three axes, so the only variations are now caused by selector noise. The vertex farlands may also generate huge diagonal walls like you see here, which are analogous to the diagonal lines in the corner farlands. These have inverted mirror images in octants where the X and Z signs are flipped, but the Y sign is kept the same. Also note that the sky farver lands do not start at y value of 2 billion, 8 million, 131,840, but rather at y, bill, a y value of 4 billion, 16 million, 263,690, give or take. This is because the main noise scale value on the y axis is actually 160 rather than 80. The, the sky vertex far, the vertex farver lands will, will always generate either all empty or all solid, with maybe a diagonal wall. The edge farver lands coming off of the vertex farlands may also resemble the edge, far the regular edge farver lands when the other axis is near zero, or that is within 12 million five hundred thousand and twenty-four zero. Or they may be, of course, all solid or all empty, depending on what the vert, um, the vertex farlands spawn in that world. And of course, the corner farver lands within the vertex farlands just look like the regular corner farver lands when the vertex farlands are air and solid. There's also some void farlands, which should really be named the underground farlands, of course, which would appear about 25.1 million blocks down, if Minecraft generated blocks all the way down there. That is a depth nearly four times that of the Earth's core. These are identical to the sky farlands in nature, the only difference being that they're flooded. The, the eight octants of the vertex farland are also related to each other in a way similar to the to the corner farlands, but more complicated. We see that this diagonal wall in the, in the north in, in the upper northwest octant is mirrored in the upper in the upper southwest octant. And if we dig down below here, you will see that when we turn on right here. That when flipping all three signs, we get a we get a rough mirror image of the vertex farland. When flipping two signs, we get an inversion. When flipping two signs, we just get in we just get an inversion. Like compare this auction to that one. This one is also a rough inversion of the one above of the one above to the right, directly to the right. 